That should do it. Well, let's try it out. Gringer, can we borrow that Rango Berry? Now, don't talk with your mouth full, Cringer. You, like I was saying, if, if you really need it. Thanks, buddy. Hey, it works. Not perfectly. The duplicates are only half the original size. No complaints here. Orko, what are you doing here? I was lonely at the palace without you guys. I thought I'd pay a visit. <laughs> What's going on? Mossman, this is supposed to be a secret test. I wasn't spying. I came out here for a nap. I'll go find another spot. Now, even when he's not trying to be, Mossman's a spy. Being able to change into any plant can sure be handy. Say, uh, what are you guys doing out here with that thing? Man at Arms' new duplicating machine just made me an extra dessert. Oh, that's not so hard. I can make a lot more if that's what you want. Uh, oh, single double magic desserts turn this berry into more yummy desserts. <laughs> Sorry. Well, as long as you're here, Orko, you can help us collect the tools. Orko? Well, at least it worked. This better be worth it, Whiplash. See for yourself, Skeletor. anything. There would be no limit to my power. That's enough experimenting for today. Let's head back home. I must have that machine. It was a productive morning. And we'll be back at the palace in time to greet our royal visitors. Hurry! Faster! Faster! <laughs> this ray blaster will jam the Wind Raider's engines. They'll have to the duplicating machine will be mine! <laughs> it was strange. The Wind Raiders seem to be losing power. Oh, oh no! I think we're falling! They're headed for the swamp. We'll meet them there. Hold on. We're coming in for an unexpected landing. On second thought... We've landed in the tar swamp and we're sinking. Oh, no! By the power of Grayskull! that rope. It seems this is stickier than I thought. How about some help, Cat? Engines are jammed. I, I can't get them going. I've got an idea. They must have landed near here. Hurry, hurry! The undercarriage cable is released, He-Man. Then we're all set. Hold tight, because we're going on a little ride.
I'll give the engines another try. Engines are working. Nice going, He-Man. Nice going, Whiplash. They've gotten away while we're stuck in this vile swamp. Uh, gee, how'd that happen? Your situation is indeed a desperate one, Joba. Uh, yes, it's it. What's the commotion, Mechanic? It's Prince Adam, sire. Sorry, I'm late, Father. Mother? Jova, Jeta, and Jade, this is our son, Prince Adam. Our royal visitors were just telling us of their problem. You see, many wild animals roam our forests. In order to gather food without being caught by these animals, our people must become invisible. How do you do that? Bear bite! To become invisible, we must have... But the supply of Bambite has been mysteriously disappearing. This is our very last piece, and it has very little power left. Which means that unless we can find more... Uh, there, there's no future for our people. We'll all starve. Come with me. I have an idea that just might help. Now, there's no guarantee this will work. But if your duplicating machine can make some Bambite, that would mean... Saving our people. Look! Our trusty heat gun cuts through anything, even your palace floor, Randor. Ah, I see Jova is also here. The same Jova who refused to help me steal the diamond of Loch Mead. Big bum bite, do you? <laughs> Cringer, wake up. We're needed. I know what that means. By the power of Grayskull. Skeletor took the duplicating machine. Come on, Cat, to the attack track. Count me in, too! Attack track, are we still on Skeletor's trail? Of course we are. Looks like Skeletor set up a few laser mines in our honor. This field's probably full of them. No problem. I can see where they are from here. Careful, there's one up ahead. Feel your right attack track. I've already noted that mine and adjusted our course. You can rest your neck, neck and neck. Won't be too long before we're out of this obstacle course. There's another laser mine ahead. Go to your left attack track. Left. I'm afraid we're stuck. You are new here, aren't you? Finally, our chance to test the machine. It may not be long before Eternia has a new king. Me! <laughs> Again! <laughs> Quiet skeletoids, you wonderfully horrible creatures! Get in line! You know what you must do. Off to the palace of Randor. It will soon be mine. All mine! Here comes King Skeletor! <laughs> Well, 
Well, no sign of Skeletor. Seems we've lost his trail. He-Man? He-Man? He-Man here? What is it, Moss Man? You better get back here right away. We're in big trouble. What's wrong? Can't talk now. Hurry, please, hurry. Uh, He-Man, what do we do now? Only one thing to do, Mackinac. Return to the palace. Not much longer, the palace is just ahead. What is it, Cat? Big trouble! You mean a lot of little troubles! Skeletor has used the duplicating machine to duplicate himself. Well, one thing's for certain, with those kind of odds, we won't be able to get into the palace through the front door. Rainbow Tunnel! What's the Rainbow Tunnel? It's a secret passageway the king built for Adam and Tila when they were children. Let's go. The opening to the tunnel is somewhere around here. Hurry, He-Man! They're coming! And we're going. All right, Skeletor, I've had enough of your games. Come on out. Skeletor's our name, and evil is our game. <laughs> By your listening displeasure, our little concert. We call it the Sonic Sound Trap. <laughs> Come, Skeletor and his Skeletoids have taken over the entire palace. My duplicating machine caused this disaster. You must find it. The moment it's destroyed, the Skeletoids will evaporate. But first, we have to think of a way to leave here. The Skeletoids already know about the Rainbow Tunnel, so that's out. <laughs> I'll show you how to leave. There's just enough power left in the Bambite for Jova to make you and Battle Cat invisible. At least long enough to get out of the palace. But it's your last piece. Without it, you and your people may starve. No matter. You and your people are our friends. It's dangerous. Please be careful. Careful! Say, this Bambite really works. Now for a little Orko magic to help you get past the guards. Hey, you fellas, want to see something neat? Oh, single double magic desserts turn this berry into more yummy desserts. <laughs> find the duplicating machine. Look, they've got Cyclone, too. Oh, oh no. The, the Bambite's power is getting weak. We're, we're becoming visible. I see what you mean, and I'm afraid they see, too. Oh, dear. Cyclone, do your stuff. You got it. You guys get clear. I'll take care of these squirts. There, that should keep them busy enough for us to get to Snake Mountain without any more interruptions. Yeah.
planet Eternia is becoming mine, all mine. <laughs> Skeletor, Skeletor, E-Man, Battle Cat, and Jova are approaching. Fools, but no matter. They will witness my final assault on Eternia as my captives, of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, where is He-Man and his mangy friends? This is gonna be fun. Ready? Aim? Watch out! Oh, dear. Don't worry, Jova. If those duplicates are anything like Skeletor, you can bet they're greedy and selfish. I think I may be able to use that fact to our advantage. Let's just play along with them for now. Welcome, He-Man, to the new Palace of Eternia. Easy, Cat. You look frightened, Jova. You have good cause to be. I don't forget those who refuse to help me. Uh, uh, you want us to steal the diamond rock mead for you, Skeletor? Oh, my people never steal. Silence, you soon-to-be prisoner. All right, Skeletor, enough of your threats. Why are you keeping us here? I want you to witness the effects of my genius firsthand. Tonight, once I duplicate an army of my cohorts, I will be the ruler of all Eternia. You will be? You confuse me, Skeletor. I thought they were to be the rulers. Aren't you going to reward them for doing your dirty work? I got more than you two put together. Now's my chance to destroy the duplicating machine. This mega steel gate is impenetrable, He-Man. You'll never get to my machine. Stop him! <coughs> You're not as smart or as strong as you think, He-Man. Feeling a bit weak? Our power drain ray takes all your strength away! <laughs> Give him another ray of weakness! You mean stop, He-Man! Ready, boys? Ready! Are you all right? Yes, Jova. My energy's been restored, and I think so has yours. Bambite! Oh, dear, it's really Bambite! <laughs> so Skeletor was hoarding the Bambite as revenge against you for not helping him. I think Skeletor had a taste of his own medicine when he had to face himself. Literally. Well, I've learned something, too. A duplicating machine is far too dangerous to have around. I agree. Who needs a duplicator when you got me? Single, double, triple, let it be right. Please turn into lots of precious bambites. Today, we discovered that getting what you want isn't always a good thing. When we like something, particularly something sweet, it's easy to want more and more. But nearly every time, if you have too much of something, no matter how much you want it, you'll find that it uh, disagrees with you. So next time you see some candy, remember, you can have too much of a good thing. Except me, of course. Right, man in arms? We'll uh, talk about it later. See you next time. Looks like the widgets are about ready to celebrate the completion of a new reactor. <laughs> What's there to celebrate? Well, when King Randor turns it on tomorrow, it will give Eternia safe power for lights, cooking food. Food? Oh, now that's something to celebrate. 
Here, 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 I am Mel Prag, worker of mysteries, dealer in harmless tricks and games, gather around. Guess which sphere contains the apple, and it's yours. That's easy. So it looks, my lady. But I am so sure you'll get it wrong that I'll make it more interesting for you. An apple and a diamond? Wow! Games are easy, but a diamond, ladies and gentlemen, you will have to work for. I think it's the left one. What do you think, Orko? Oh, no. It's the one on the right. I understand these magic tricks. I think. All right, then. Right it is. One. Your turn, Smudge. Uh, it's the middle one! Congratulations, young sir. You have a keen eye. Of course he does. That's why Smudge is chief guard at the Corridite reactor. Is that so? Oh, no! The emergency signal! Alert! Alert! Mine shaft number three has collapsed. Rockfall in mine number three. Well, that's where we get Corridite from. Come on, Father. The widgets may need help. We better tag along, just in case He-Man is needed. Wait, Smudge. Give me a chance to win my diamond back. I'll bet this diamond that you cannot pick the right sphere again. Hey, but there's trouble! I have to, uh... I, uh Listen, would you really bet this big diamond against this small one? That's the deal. Timber bugs. They're eating away at the support beams. One must have collapsed and caused that rock slide. Then hadn't we better get out of here? Oh, you're right, Tila. These other beams could go at any minute. Father, look out! Father, are you all right? I... I think so. We're not hurt. I think it's about to get worse. The explosion has broken through to an underground river. We're going to have to climb. We can't climb any further, and the water is still rising. What can we do? Hope for a miracle. We have to get them out of there fast. By the power of Grey Skull. Stand back, Orko. Goodness, we got to you in time. Our problems aren't over yet. What is it, Father? Look, that underground river must have contained selenium. It's caused a chemical reaction in this corridite. What does that mean, Duncan? It means that all the corridite in this section is now unstable. If we use it in the reactor, it could cause a terrible explosion. Then we must make sure this corridite is dumped someplace safe so it can never harm anyone. Oh, I agree. But first, we'll have to replace the rotten timbers to avoid more rock slides. 
should be able to move the Corridite by tomorrow morning. I'll tell the widgets right away. Uh, the left one! You've won every time. I have nothing left except uh, my wind rate. You can have everything I've won in exchange for that Wind Raider! The Wind Raider is worth more than that, but there is something that I would bet on. What? You could bet some of the cordite that you got. I couldn't do that! It's not mine! Just a small amount? You widgets have so much of it? But someone would notice! I get into terrible trouble! I need the cordite to power some medical equipment I'm experimenting with. Why, you'd be helping to save lives. <laughs> save lives? Well, I guess, all right, it's for a good cause. As I, I haven't lost yet. <laughs> I'm bound to win. Right. Now let's get to it. And this is the corridite they use in the reactor when the king starts it up. Let me have it. Not so fast. You haven't won yet, and I'm going to make sure you don't. As you wish. All right, Milbrad. I'll bet my winnings plus this against your win Raider that I can pick the right sphere one more time. Done. Hey, 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 that's, that, that's much faster than the other times. And now, my little friend, which do you choose? I... The right one. No, no. Uh, the middle one. Oh, bad luck, Smudge. Well, I have to go now. No, no, wait, wait. You, you, you can't take the Corridite. It's not mine. You should have thought about that before. Oh, it wasn't fair. The, 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 the spheres move too fast. There's no law says you have to win every time, or that it'll be easy. <laughs> Nonsense. All you have to do is replace this with some cordite from the mines. Why, I won't tell anyone. I guess I could do that. Trust me, Smudge. Everything will be fine. Mel Bragg was right. I'll just put this in the reactor to replace the cordite I lost. We'll ever know, and everything will be all right. Who, who goes there? Easy, Smudge. It's just me. Tila asked me to check to see if everything was all right here. You can never be too careful. If some of this cordite got into the wrong hands, the whole of Eternia would be in danger. The whole of Eternia? Oh, no! What is it? Something's bothering you. Tell me, Smudge. Oh, he meant a terrible thing! I gambled some of the Corridite with Mel Bragg and I lost! You lost? You mean Mel Bragg has some Corridite? Yes! Oh, I'm so ashamed! We'll decide what to do about you later. You were right to tell me. But now we must get that Corridite back. There's no telling what Mel Bragg might do with it. <laughs> this Corridite detector should lead us right to Mel Bragg. I... I... Well, he doesn't seem to be hiding. Let's go talk to him. We better be careful, Smudge. He's tricky. Greetings, my friends. What can I do for you? We've come for the Corridite, Melbrag. Hey, I won it fair and square. It's mine now. Then we'll buy it from you. Ha! Skeletor will beat any price you name. Skeletor? He can never be allowed to have Corridite. So, come and take it. He-Man, look out! It's a force field! First the Cordite, now He-Man himself. <laughs> hey, not a bad day's work. <sighs> These bars are pure energy. My strength can't budge them. So, let's see if we can't short-circuit Melbragg's plans. There, that seems to have hit the spot. 
Now, let's find Melbrag. Ah, that must be Skeletor's man now. You are Melbrag? Yes, who are you? I am called Spikehorn, greatest of evil warriors, servant to Skeletor. You have brought me Corridite? It's here, and I have something else Skeletor might wish to buy, namely, He-Man. He-Man? You think Spikehorn is a fool? A puny man like you could ever capture He-Man. Well, he did try. He-Man! Time for you to be going, Spikehorn. He won't get far. Come on. We are ready to go, Chief. Out of my way. He-Man's coming. He-Man! This ray's our only hope. There he is, He-Man! Surrender, Melbrag. It's all over. I wouldn't bet on that, He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> It's weakening me. I, I can hardly stand. I used some of the cordite I got from that silly widget to power this ray. Even you can't stand up to it. Hang on, He-Man! I'll save you! Let me go! Let me go! And who's gonna save you, shrimp? <laughs> hey, you caused me a lot of trouble, He-Man. But that's over. Soon you'll be in the hands of Skeletor and I will be a rich man. Milbrick! You're a really bad person! I am, aren't I? <laughs> I must contact Skeletor and tell him what's happened. Watch He-Man and that widget. Uh, Chief, suppose He-Man's strength returns. Well, just give him another blast of the Cordite Ray. All right, you two, sit down and don't try anything funny. <sighs> it's no use. I'm, I'm still too weak from the Cordite Ray. Oh, this is all my fault! Giving Milbrand Coronite was the stupidest thing I've ever done! By the way, Smudge, where did you get the Coronite from? From the bin in the reactor room! You know, the one that King will use to start up the reactor! But I... I checked that bin. None of the Coronite was missing. I... took some Coronite from the mine and put it in the bin to cover up! The mine? Oh, no! What's wrong? Why, that Coronite was unstable. When the king dumps that bin in the reactor, it, it could cause an explosion. A very big one. Oh, no! We, we've got to do something! I, I've got an idea. Do you think you can keep the guards busy for a few minutes? Leave it to me. Hey, what are you two whispering about? Oh, we were just saying how slow and foolish you two are! Why, you little... Hey, come back here! By the power of grace. Come down from there. I like it up here, but I'll send you down something to snuck on. All right, Widget, that's it. You're gonna get it now. Keep shaking, we almost got it. Excuse me, but I believe these belong to you. Uh, thanks. Uh, oh, oh, no. Hey, why'd you... Yay! Jump, Smudge. Be right there, He-Man! You've got your strength back. Yes, thanks to you. Melbrag, Melbrag, He-Man's loose. Bunglers, fools! Now I'll have to use the Cordite Ray on him again. I've had enough of that thing. Ah! 
Now what do we do, Chief? What any evil genius would do. Run for it! He's getting away again! We'll have to deal with him later. Right now, we've got to get back and stop the king from loading the reactor. I don't believe that son of mine. He knows how important the ceremony is. Well, I'm sure he'll be here. Smudge is missing, too. I wonder if anything is wrong. Well, we can't keep everyone waiting. We'll just have to start without Adam. Citizens of Eternia, we have long awaited this great day. Thanks to the scientific genius of man-at-arms and the hard work of the widgets, this new Corridite reactor will provide power for many years to come. And now it gives me great pleasure to throw the switch that will start the reactor. Everything ready, Duncan? Yes, sire. Well, here we go. The reactor's been loaded and everything seems to be going smoothly. Gila, look. Isn't that He-Man? Yes, and he's sure in a hurry. I hope we're in time. Me too! He-Man, is something wrong? Your Majesty. You must not switch on the reactor. Too late, B-Man! Don't you hear it? The reactor's already on! What's this all about? The reactor seems to be working just fu- ah! ah! Oh! We're too late! There's only one chance. Man-at-arms, clear everyone off the reactor. has sent the entire reactor into space. Terrific. Oh, I wonderful, he -Man. He -Man. That's great. Blast that He-Man. He ruined my whole deal. But at least we got away safely. Uh, you wouldn't want to bet on that, would you, Melbrack? <laughs> to the escape pod, quickly. Oh, I'm sure he's floating around somewhere. Cringer! Hey, Cringer, wake up! Oh, hello, everyone. D did I miss anything exciting? <laughs> not a thing, Cringer. No, not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a big part of growing up is learning to respect other people's property. When Smudge lost all his money gambling, he gambled with someone else's property. And that's when things went from bad to worse. If you want to use something that belongs to someone else, ask their permission. Well, if you don't, you may get more than you bargained for. Right, Orko? <laughs> well, right you are. of you to respond so quickly to my call. It's hard to say no to one of your invitations, Skeletor. He, he was real happy to come here. <laughs> Let's get this straight. I didn't come because that walking can opener made me. I came because I heard that you had a plan to defeat He-Man. Such plans I find very interesting. I want to see that 
do good are defeated just as much as you do. Well then, I have just the plan for you. Trapjaw! Oh, yes, Master. Trapjaw, the General and I have important business to discuss. Oh, yes, Master. It has nothing to do with you. Oh, yes, Master. Trapjaw. Right here, Master. Get out of here! Right, Master, right. Not too bright, is he? As you can see, General, when I require intelligent assistance, I have to look somewhere besides Snake Mountain. That's why I called on you. You mean for my brains? That, and because you are heartless. When I said heartless, I meant just that. As you are a goblin, I understand you do not have a heart. That's true. We don't need them. Then... You do not have a heart beat, right? Of course not, but I don't understand. Why do you ask these questions? I thought you had a plan to defeat He-Man. I do, but this time we're not going to defeat He-Man. We're not? No, this time He-Man is going to defeat himself. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look good, Your Majesty. Sensors report that Skeletor is building a huge structure on the other side of the planet. Exactly where is this structure, whatever it is located? On the Crystal Sea, Your Majesty, near the small village of Zack. I've been there before. A charming, peaceful little place. Skeletor is forcing all the villagers to work for him. Well, we'll have to put a stop to that. Still, the situation worries me. It's not like Skeletor to be so obvious in his actions. It's as though he wants us to investigate. But what reason could he have for that? Uh, I, I don't know. Duncan, why don't you fly out to Zack and take a look for yourself? Right away, Your Majesty. I've never seen anything like it. What do you suppose it is? A dimensional gate. But it's so huge. Uh, what's Skeletor up to now? That right side doesn't seem safe to me. The supports are weak. This looks like trouble. I'd better change. By the power of Grey Skull! <laughs> Right-hand side is booby-trapped beautifully. The slightest push will cause it to collapse. Are you ready, Tataran? Let me test the force field. Is it working? Give it a try. Excellent. Turn it off for a minute. Now to change you into your disguise. How do I look? Perfect, perfect. Get ready now. Here comes He-Man. Skeletor, why are you forcing honest men and women to do your dirty work? You should be ashamed of yourself. Honest men do an honest day's work, or I destroy their village. Why, you... Well, your structure is not safe. Someone may be injured. That's your opinion, Tin Hat. Now go away. I have things to do. Well, if you want my opinion, this thing is almost as silly looking as Skeletor himself. Well, who asked you, you little vermin? <laughs> that was a big mistake, Skeletor. Not as big as the mistake you're about to make, He-Man. That's what you think, Skeletor. If I can't go around, I'll come through. No!
and mess. I guess Skeletor... Demon! Help us! There's someone under here! Oh, no. Stand aside. My plan is working perfectly. Now I must make my change. Is he? There is no heartbeat. He's dead. He was my brother. You killed him, He Man. You killed him. You sure did, oh, He Man. Sure you did it. He needs to be alone for a while, Orko. We'd better go back to the palace and report. You go. He-Man needs me. It was an accident, He-Man, an accident. You can't blame yourself. The thing wasn't safe. It fell apart. It doesn't matter, Orko. The point is I acted without thinking. And a man died. But, but He-Man... Orko, when I first became He-Man, I swore to uphold that which was right and to protect the innocent. Accident or not, today I broke that promise. But... I'll be fine, Orko. Now run along. There's something I have to do. I hope you'll be okay. Oh my gosh, I better hurry back or Man-at-Arms will take off without me. Everyone's gone, Tataran. You can get up now. He-Man was completely fooled. I'll say. He really believes I'm dead here. Yes, I doubt if He-Man will give us any more trouble. Now, we can rebuild that gate, and this time for real. A trick! It was all a trick! What? A spy! I'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Today I broke a promise and proved myself unworthy of the great power that was given me. And if I am unworthy, I can no longer permit myself to be He-Man. Let the power... Return! I brought the Wind Raider, Adam. Let's go home. yourself comfortable, you worthless wizard, because you're going to be here for a very long time. <laughs> Door now closed with me inside. Open now, and open wide. <laughs> Foolish Orko, this prison has been magic proof. None of your pitiful little spells will work on it. Now, if you will excuse me, the general and I have plans to make. For the conquest of Eternia! <laughs> what is it now, Duncan? Skeletor again? I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. This time, however, he's not bothering to hide behind a force field. He has rebuilt the dimensional gate that He-Man had the, uh, the accident with, Your Majesty. The gate is a very large one, big enough to bring an army through. You mean... The goblins? I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. If that gate is completed, Eternia is doomed. We must destroy that gate! That won't be easy, sir. Skeletor has it heavily guarded. Then we must call once again upon Eternia's champion, the mighty He-Man. Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm, I'm afraid that He-Man is... is uh, no longer available, Your Majesty. 
Uh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that. I gather he's still upset over the accident you told me about. However, there is no time for questions. We must act, and act quickly. Duncan, if the full strength of the Royal Guard were to attack that gate... Skeletor has placed a large number of ray cannons around the dimensional gate. The guard can't get close enough without risking many, many lives. Then what choice do we have? There is one slim chance, Your Majesty. A single soldier might be able to sneak past Skeletor's guards on foot. The soldier would be carrying this. A mesotronic bomb? Exactly. If the soldier could get close enough, this bomb would disintegrate the entire dimensional gate. There is no time to lose. I am going. Goodbye, Your Majesty, Adam. But, but... No, Taylor, no. Goodbye, Father. I... I love you. Duncan, what are her chances? Not good, Adam. Not good at all. But she's the only hope we have now. Wall of hiding solid stone. Please open up. Let me go home. Well, I guess Skeletor was right. I can't use my magic on this cell. I have to tell Knee Man that Skeletor tricked him. Wait a minute. Maybe I can't use my magic on this place, but I can still use it on me, myself. I knew I'd think of something. Taylor's gone off on a dangerous mission, and only He-Man could save her now, but... No, I can never become He-Man again. I misused the power and a man died. No, never again. Never again. Adam! Adam! Orko? Of course it's me! Uh, oh, sorry! <coughs> uh, Adam, wh what are you doing? You have to become He-Man, Skeletor's... I've given up being He-Man, Orko. After what happened in the village... It was a trick! A dirty, rotten trick. The villager and his brother were Tataran and Skeletor in disguise. What? Orko, are you sure? Yes, I am, Adam. You, uh, uh, uh He-Man didn't hurt anyone. It was all a trick. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible? I thought you'd be happy to hear this. I am, but you don't understand. Because He-Man wasn't around, Tila just went off on a dangerous mission. Well, let's go get her. Pull the old magic sword in. That's the problem, Orko. I don't have the sword. I threw it into the bottomless abyss. What, of all the foolish... I mean, oh, sorry, I mean, uh, but uh, what are you going to do now? There's only one thing I can do. What's that? Get it back. <laughs> be working that makes sense that's where all these goblins came from Skeletor must be up there right next to the gate maybe I can get these goblins to take me there hmm. at least I hope so because here goes nothing what shall we do with her Take her to Skeletor. That's right, boys. Take me to Skeletor and the gate. I don't know if this abyss is really bottomless, but it sure does go down a long, long way.
should hold you long enough for me to get out of here. Now, for Skeletor and his dimensional gate, and Tila. Well, 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 what have we here? A spy, my Skeletor. We found her sneaking around a camp, so we brought her to you. Excellent. You may release her. Well, Captain Teela, this is a surprise. Have you come to surrender to the forces of Skeletor? No, Skeletor. I came to bring you this. A Mesotronic bomb. That's right. And you have five minutes to get you and your evil cohorts out of here before I push the button. You wouldn't dare. And no magic, evil face, or I press the button now. She means it. Come on, men. Let's get out of here. No, you coward! Come back here! You have four minutes left, Skeletor. I don't need four minutes to defeat you! No! And now, my dear Captain, once and for all... Steven! Well, looks like I got here just in time. I'd have thought that my little trick would have made you go away permanently. But no matter, I'll take care of you now. What's that? The mesotronic bomb. Your ray must have damaged the timer. It's going to go off. It should be quite a blast. I'll leave you two to enjoy the fireworks. <laughs> what are we going to do? Only one thing we can do. Run for it. sign of the goblins. With the gate gone, they must have returned to their own dimension. Right, Tila? Tila? Tila! Oh, no, Tila. Oh. Tila? Oh. I must have bumped my head. Tila, you're all right? Why, he mad. I didn't know you cared. <sighs> I was worried. I'm fine. Let's go home. <laughs> uh, hey, man. Yes, Tila? You can put me down now. If you don't feel up to walking, I can carry you back. It's no trouble, you know. Hey, man, I'm fine. Trust me. <laughs> I trust you, but to be on the safe side, maybe I should carry you part of the way. What good will carrying me part of the way do? I don't know. I just thought... <laughs>